Welcome back to one of the final Modern Cube drafts here on Magic Online before Dominaria. <clears throat> what are you guys looking at here? I'm looking at... I know what I'm looking at. Seed Rhino. Or Sinks Revelation. That's literally what I'm looking at here. I feel like I've proven enough how good cards like Sphinx's Revelation are in this cube. Because card advantage in, in mass quantities is just so good. And you know what else is really good? Blue. <clears throat> I'm going to take this, and I'll never look back. Except for this pack when we have literally no good blue or white cards. But other than that... <clears throat> you can play Sensor. I can also play Fat Boat. Fat fat Bottom Boats, they make the Ryan world go. Fatty McBoat Boat. Your mom's a Fatty McBoat Boat. Wow. <laughs> Get wrecked. Oh, Declaration Stone's actually just fine, right? Oh, sure. I didn't see that. I didn't either. That's really weird. Huh. Could also Nahiri. <clears throat> Meh. What's the dream, Unseen Spectre? To get Emrakul with Nahiri? Emrakul's not even in this cube. Not with that attitude. Oh, that's a good point. Gamma said, glad to hear you survived the parent-teacher conference, buddy. You get a new log. I'm just gonna take Deccan Stone. I think this is probably the best. This might be the first time I feel like Batter Skull is correct. And then we can just play standard with Return to Ravnica and New Phyrexia. That was a standard format, right? Where you had Batter Skull and Sphinx's Rail? Actually, I don't think it was. Maybe it wasn't. I don't know. <clears throat> I still feel like it's Batter Skull here. What do you think? It's the only card we're picking. Oh boy. Oh! Oh, all right. Whew. This card's great, and uh, I hope I don't have to defend it to you anymore. No, I still don't like it, though. Well, that's your fault, Michael. Man's Hive? <clears throat> Maybe. Do we just got him? Got him! Why don't you like Batter Skull normally? Uh, it just doesn't do anything. I know that sounds funny, but... Two or less from your graveyard to your hand. I don't like. I don't hate Brimaz. I do kind of like. I'd be surprised if we took Manatee over Brimaz, right? Yeah, I mean Brimaz isn't really what this deck wants, but it's fine. Manatee might be though. Yeah, I just want to get him. Sphinx's Revelation and Manatee, man. I just want to get him. Yeah, get him right now. Flicker was. Um, I like Flicker was more than a myriad. It's got some tricks. We can blink a batter skull. Get a get a. A germer. <clears throat> Germerino. Why would, why would we ever do that? Oh, get a new germ. Yeah, you get dies. a new germ. Oh, if it dies. Yeah. I thought you meant like when it was in play. I'd be like, that just kills your germ. Well, you do have to do it when it's in play. You can't can't, can't blink the batter skull when it's not in play, Michael. Not with that, dude. You know what, Michael? Apparently the blue is being cut pretty hard. Apparently people have been listening to us. Dart Mitch. That guy's definitely a stream viewer. And border actually, who's passing to us? So, Skiffer three, W Pack one two three four, A Junior one four eight. So three people with numbers in their names are passing to us. Okay. Mm. Mm. People say it's insane. We'll just keep trying it. We'll keep trying it till it's too late. <clears throat> if you have an election or it gets you a two two. What what does that mean? Skull. What are you saying right now? Giffy, what are you saying right now? <laughs> this deck wants Skull Clamp. If you have a Leshnor and it gets you a 2 2. What? That doesn't make any sense at all. Oh, the germ. By blinking the Batter Skull, it gets you, a, you get to keep a 2 2. The germ would be a 2 2. It would be oh. a 2 3, actually. No, it would be a 2 2. You're right. Dang it. Dang it. I don't know how germs work. <clears throat> Oh, good times. Mike being Mike, love it. I'm gonna I'm gonna pull a mic and respond to this comment. <clears throat> Someone said Vana can't make tutus, and I'm like, not with that attitude. Anything good? 
Yeah. Oh, Reflector Mage and Cloud Guard Ranger. I like Reflecty. I do too, actually. I think it's cheaper. It's, it's obviously cheaper than Cloud Goat. But being able to bounce Reflector Mage and replay it seems pretty good, right? What? <laughs> okay, you're getting weirder, man. I just watched Mike go over to his cup, grab a piece of ice, and put it in his mouth like it was candy. You ain't never seen a candy like this, boy. No, dude. God, you're so weird. Delicious candy. Yeah. Very bland. I'm going to take student here because it's definitely not these other cards. Mm-hmm. Hey, Big Boat came back. God, our blue cards, have, the, the blue is real dry right now, but. Eh, Finx is fine. Should I play Seismic Swans or Mardu Control at my FNM tonight? I'm from the future Australia. Uh, your question depends on which deck you're more comfortable with. That's my answer to every, every person who ever asked which modern deck should I play. Because that's really what modern comes down to, I think, is which deck you are more comfortable with. Going to song to get a blast. What what do I get? Um, pineapple. Pineapple's a good choice. <clears throat> wow. Every time I launch a Frank Laporte video and Mike isn't there, I get a little sad. Oh man. That's that's no good. Sorry, buddy. Your your uh your responsibilities just increased. Oh, now we're talking. Glacial Fortress and Hollow Fountain in the same pack with Mold Drifter and Banishing Light and Path and Banisher Priest. Seems good. I feel like our three spots a little heavy. I think it's still Mold Drifter. Yeah, I think the Molly. I hope at least one of those cards come back. Also, I uh, I was playing in someone the other day. I had a car waste. Jace Architect of Thought. Other Jace. Two Jaces. <clears throat> I like Planeswalker Jace better than Baby Jace. Really? Hey, it's harder to deal with. Yeah, I guess so. And it nullifies a lot of cards like Bitter Blossom. It's real good against those. Um, <clears throat> I had someone the other day who played a Moldrift, evoked a Moldrifter on three, and uh, bounced it with their Crystal <clears throat> Shard before it, it got sacrificed. And I was like, it's pretty impressive. You're clearly a powerful wizard. It was very good. I was impressed. Baby Jace at two mana is, is way too susceptible to every piece of removal that exists in this cube, which is a lot. Oh, I like a compulsive research. Yep. It's probably the best card in this pack. I'll put you there right quick. Also, Flicker Wisp is real good with Reflector Mage, Kitchen Finks, and Mall Drifter and Batter Skull so far. You're going to get out of here. Yeah, but I don't think having a two mana Jace that they're just going to kill immediately is really what you're looking for in that two mana slot. So. Hmm. Scatter? It is. I think it is Scatter, but I really like Obnixilus here, which is not good. I also like Gilded Lotus, but... It's <laughs> rash me. Uh, Sheldock is not as good in this cube. I don't know why, like... I think anyone who thinks Sheldock is amazing all the time, no matter what, uh, watches way too many LSV videos. How would you cast Nyx? What does that mean? <clears throat> mm. We wouldn't. That's why we didn't take it. I'm just saying. I'm just. I'm just expressing my greed, my desire. Not saying it's the right pick, but it is a pick that exists. It is a pig that exists. You're a pig that exists. You stupid Mitch. Another five drop and another three drop are the two cards I want out of this pack. Here's a uh, here's a Shadows Over Innistrad card that has the new border and a Avacyn Restored card that does not. So that's interesting. 
Yeah, splash bristle grand. What's a bristle grand? You know, when you're... <laughs> yeah. yeah, I hear you. I, I hear you. Maybe you just take Palladium Mirror, right? Or Pact? It's one of these two, right? I don't play Pact. You do or don't? Don't. We just you just we just picked it earlier. What are you talking about? In the first draft we did. Oh, you weren't here for that, were you? Mm-mm. Did you forget to pay and die? Oh no. Oh no, I would never do that, Michael. Oh Michael, I would never do that. Iconic Rift is pretty good. I also like Journey. I like Pilgrim's Eye. I like Riftwing Cloudscape. This is another pack where like why can't one of these cards be in a different pack? Why can't we be friends? Why can't we be friends? What? You heard me. No, no one heard you. I do think it's Cyclonic Rift, though. Oh, my God. Our deck is just falling apart. There's tissues right there if you want to use one of those to clean up your friggin' mess. Unbelievable. <laughs> it's it's hard, guys, because when you're when you're reaching your hand into your cup and, and picking out your ice by hand, uh, and then you put it in your mouth, sometimes you miss. Sometimes you drop the ice because it's wet. Uh, I think most people would probably use the cup and put it in their mouth that way. Um, but sometimes you just want to get your hand in your cup and, and, and get the ice that way. And, um, you know, sometimes it just doesn't go according to plan. So, you know, it happens. I, I understand more than anyone what that's like. No, oh, I'm getting rewarded now. All right, these two actually made everything come together. Huh. I'm not judging my acoustic son. I'm just explaining the situation. Yavamaya Coost. Mike is Yavamaya Acoustic is what, what he is. Mm -mm. I'm going to take this over the the Opt. I could care less about Opt, but I might actually play this if we can get a thing. Yeah, that's splashable too. Oh, wow. The Journey of Nowhere came back? That's great. We can play one Dragon Skull Summon and splash both Electrolyze and Soren. That's pretty sweet. Oh man, that journey to nowhere tied the whole room together. I think you guys know what's happening right now. Hey, it's Burberry. It's pronounced Burberry, but we are going to take the Burberry. It's not. It is, Michael. It, it really it's is. Michael, it's Burberry. <sighs> Our whole deck is just five drops and three drops, man. Uh huh. I mean, if I'm taking. I'm not taking something other than dissolve because it's very good. We feel like we can cut something. Collective effort, probably. Crystal shard, maybe. We gotta play it once. I know. Ah. Oh. Everyone's gonna get so mad at us. Check two, three months in a row. Thank you so much. Yellow disc check representative for Diet Sunkist. I subscribe you for promotionary. Yeah, that makes sense. I can get behind that. All right, this is a good card. I agree. Check, thank you. Appreciate it. Even though you crushed me that one time, I try to forgive you. I try to forgive. Is it Mind Control or a Leshnorn? Ooh. I think it's a Leshnorn. Then again, a Mind Control can take a Leshnorn. Huh. It is another 5 drop. Can can never have too many of those, huh? Yeah. Uh... What's this quote? I don't understand what's going on here. What's this clip, rather? <laughs> oh, that's great. That's just gas, dude. I don't know what to take here, guys. 
I'm having a real problem. Alesh might wheel, but I don't know. Oh, Alesh Norn with Elspeth? Uh, I'm going to take Alesh Norn. I think it's more... There's other cards that do the similar things as mind control. Especially like we do. We already have a bribery. Sun Titan. Chromatic Lantern. Day of the Bits. My last donation, you called me a son of a bit. Must say I was offended. So have more bits so it remains true. Why? <laughs> I don't feel like you were offended at all. I think you just lied. Is it Wrath of God? Um, This looks like a Wrath of God deck. Could also be a, a Sun Titan deck, to be honest. We have Reflector Mage, Kitchen Finks, Flicker Wisp. This feels like a Wrath of God deck. Mm -hmm. I just want to be Wrathing and then stealing your things. Wrath of God is really powerful in this cube because you're all just the only the only thing you're doing here are uh, playing creatures and planeswalkers. I was a creature in a planeswalker once. Can you milk me? No, that's good. That was a test. I like cast out. I don't want the Avacyn because it's just another five drop. I like quarantine filled too because it's kind of a cast out for four mana. Actually, quarantine's probably just better, right? Um, it's either a cast out for four or a cast out for six. Yeah, it doesn't have flash, but Wrath of God is a Day of Judgment effect that says they can't be regenerated. So yeah, that's a Day of Judgment effect with a bonus. It's uh, with a perk, if you will. Things caught me out of the order. I have no idea what you just said right there. Things caught me out of order is what he said. No, I think it's the other order. I think he's drunk. Day of Judgment is a Wrath of God with a downside. No, it's a Day of Judgment effect. I can't. Just guys, please. He just got out of the hospital recently. His 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 head's not all there. Just say say a prayer for Mike, guys. If you guys, uh, look whatever you believe, just just say a prayer for him, okay? <laughs> See, he makes these noises. They're weird noises like that. I don't know. It's kind of like he's he's like he's trying. He's like he's choking on his emotions. And I I feel so bad for him. I don't want to wait for our mic to be over. Wouldn't it be? I don't want to wait for Mike to get colder. Because he died on right here on this stream. I think it's just evolving wilds. What do you have to say about that smart guy? It's okay. I mean, it's not night, right? It's not. It is not. I'll take the one card I can play here. Look, Connor Ryan's lighting a candle for you. Hmm. You're welcome. And he's so ungrateful, guys. I don't even care. See? God, he's just so selfish. I like this Perilous Mirror. I like Dungeon Guys better. I just want to have another two drops so I don't die. Is that is that okay with you? No. I want you to die. Wow. Good lord. I don't care about dungeon geist. You can take your dungeon geist. Put up put up your bee your bee hole. A bee hole. Lay claim. That's kinda like a mind control. P and Karen R. That's kinda like a mind control. Greater Gargadon, that's kinda like a mind control. It's not. It is not. I was close though. It's close. It's not. It's close. Mm -mm. Guys, it's close. All right, we need to cut. We need two cuts here from our weird. Really, this is a really weird blue white deck. It's okay that you care. We and God love you despite that. Michael, I need to know what the cuts are. I'm looking. 
No one can see you when you're over there. It's very weird. I can see me. That doesn't matter. You're you're streaming. Like, stop being weird. Don't be weird, Michael. Monetary Mint here. Isn't that great? Ever? No, this deck, right? What? Why wouldn't it be? We only have eight creatures in the deck. <laughs> Just so you know. So that means there are... I'm not going to lose Monetary Mint here. Monetary Mint here. Mentair. Mentair, the fresh maker. The fresh maker. Why'd you cut Lake Claim? Because I don't like it. Why? It's seven mana. Steals anything, bro. Anything you want. I want to cut Flicker Wisp. But it's good with Mole Drifter, Reflector Mage. It's not bad, actually. I want to cut, I want to cut this, but I'm not going to because people want it. I would agree with you, actually. This? Yeah. Right? Doesn't seem that great. No, we can't see the Simic version of the day. <laughs> oh, I just don't think it's a great. I want to be honest with you. It's super obnoxious. I don't care about it. It is not a card I want to play on turn three. Could Elspeth and Elstorm? No way. How do we win? 7-6? I like, I like it the other way better. Oh, what? Oh, you sneaky son of a forest. So I think... Oh, uh, actually, we can add another white then. That's fine. All right. Let's see if this blue... Let's see if we can keep keep the blue-white train rolling. The blue train... I guess it's mostly the blue train. We have Sphinx's Relation and Tidings. We can't lose. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. We just can't lose. You're going to lose your red. You're so weird. What? I'm just cleaning my cup. Michael, you went through the power of prayer and interpretive dancing. Did you guys know that right now on Twitch, on Amazon Prime, you can get 500 Twitch bits for 99 cents that you can donate to your favorite streamer, whether that's me or someone else? I, it's fine. But it's a good deal, and if you want to support streamers, you should do it. You can also get 100 bits for interpretive dance. I don't know if that's accurate. I think we're going to have to fact check that. I do have to pluck an eyelash, though. Oh, my God. Look, I got like seven eyelashes came out there. Wow. Does that mean I have a... Somebody... Hey, Super Troopers 2 comes out tomorrow? Yeah. Wow. Oh, I didn't it's even like... know. Yeah, it's been... Well, I think... Okay, so here's the thing. I think you and I um, don't know that much about movies that are outside of our circle because we don't... Like, we don't watch TV. So we don't get the, the same, like, commercial Commer exposure. Yeah. yeah. I remember I knew a lot more about like what movies were in theaters and what movies were coming out when I watched TV. Because you get you'd see all the commercials. I think we're just gonna uh, I do want to see that movie. I think it's I think we should go see it. Does Michael ever draft? No, and the only reason is because um <laughs> Hunter for Mike to demonstrate his interpretive dancing. <laughs> that's a good that's a good strategy. Uh the only reason Mike doesn't draft is because technically proficient with uh with the What's it called? Uh, Magic Online. So, all right. Um, I'm doing it. Oh, th oh, that's amazing. <laughs> it looks like a variation on the chicken dance. Oh, give me with the with the five hundred. What that? I like it. I like it. Nine nine cents is actually a great deal for that. Man, they're gonna get wrecked. Amazon's gonna get wrecked. They're gonna. I wouldn't be surprised if Monday morning. There was a news. There was a news alert, and it was like news alert is that what they call it? And they were like, "This just thing from the news alert desk." Um, Amazon has gone under this weekend when everyone bought Twitch bits. Garador, just admit you don't let him draft because he eats ice. Well, okay, so at first I didn't let him draft because of the aforementioned reasons, but now it is more of an ice thing. Yeah. It's also because I hate him and I'm planning his death, but. Oh, um, that's more of a secret. That's between you and me, guys. J Dub, thank you so much. Really appreciate it. You guys are the best. All right, and nothing's gonna ever keep you down. You're the best. I guess one time we could have me draft. I was thinking. Well, so I was thinking we do another one after this, but then you can make the picks. Okay. All right. You can't kill Mike. Oh, you. you yes, I. You should say, breaking news, Amazon ran out of bits. They were so cheap during the weekend. <laughs> I just, should I, should I wrath here? 
Mm. I don't want to wait uh, for another creature, and then we take eight, eight next turn. That's true. They also have three cards in hand, so whatever. I wish they didn't have this thing, but whatever. I'll donate five bits for a piece of ice Mike puts in his orifice other than his mouth. Wow. That does not seem worth it. Oh my god, what's happening here? You got two more guys? Let's take another five here. We have Kitchen Finks next turn, which is pretty good. I wish I had a way to deal with this thing, though. This is actually surprisingly annoying right now. Excitement the for Dominaria out of 10. I'd probably say about a solid 8 or 9. And I don't think I've been a solid 8 or 9, eight or nine for a new Magic set in quite some time. So, seems good. Hmm. That should keep us alive. If you kill Mike, he'll become more powerful. Than you. <laughs> if you strike me down, I'll become more powerful than you can possibly imagine. When I left you, you were the master. Now I am the true master. Only a master of evil, Darth. You should do the whole movie, you freaking nerd. Okay, I will. Thank you for uh, offering me the ability to do that. Is this even his final form? No, I've been waiting years to see Mike's final form. He's still a, he's still a hatchling right now. Funny joke. You're a funny joke. Profane Orvis, why don't you take my free 4.01 4 from Amazon? <laughs> Deal. I will totally take that free $4.01. Thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. You guys are the best. Hmm. And I'm not just saying that either. I really think you guys are actually the best. How do you have this many creatures? God, Smuggler's Copper is a hell of a drug. That is, it, that is an invisible drink. You are correct. Look, I can put it right in front of Mike and it, you, well, then Mike becomes invisible, I guess, but. We have the technology. I'm like amazed that we're just dying to this one smuggler's copter. This is amazing. What's going on with Amazon? Funny thing you asked that. Amazon right now for Twitch Prime members has a deal where you can, I think it's only Twitch Prime members, but I'm not sure, where you can get 500 Twitch bits for $1. And that's a great way to support your local streamer or your unlocal streamer. A Twitch bit. Well, we know your last card is the guy. Oh, there we go. So then we have three blockers, and I think we're good to go after that. Must hear the lightning bolt, then we die. Oh no, we know their only card is. Hey. We know that we know their card is Burmaz. Burmaz. Yeah, big Burmaz, bro. They're like, haha, I drew the lightning bolt. <laughs> Everybody was mana tithing. Yeah. Oh, these uh, this Sphinxer relation is just getting better and better here. I'll just do it now. Well, I feel like we're gonna trick them into uh, alphaing, which could put them in a really bad position. So I think we, I think we can wait here. Okay. I also don't want to tap out here. Well, if you Sphinx Rabbit, it's not really risky. Because it'll go like 8. Well, right, but if they play something like a Chandra, I'd which rather be able to manatize it. I don't know. The alternative is play Elspeth here. Which gives us a lot of blockers. How much are they pass? Keep up Sphinx Rabbit. B 
But hear me mm-hmm. out here. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. if we draw another land, we can sink her up for one more. Mm-hmm. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, we're just going to pass and hope you just don't draw like lightning bolt or something here. That's fine. Hey, look, a doggo. That's annoying. I don't think we care about it, though. Yep. All right. Sphinx's rev here is good. Okay, that's pretty insane. <laughs> Woo! Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. All right, so we can keep up Mana Tithe. And we can one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We can do this for three. Get rid of, like, Sovereign, Brimaz, Kithian. Um, yeah, I'm okay with that. We can also... Oh, we can't Elspeth because we'd be dead. Oh, we're actually going to tap everything. So we're going to tap everything but the Glacial Fortress. Uh, let's get rid of Sovereign, Brimaz, Kithian. All right, feeling much more comfortable now. I think you could have swung for air there. Swung for air. Well, I like being able to block the three, the three one, right? Like we just have a blocker for the three one. Yeah, so we followed up our five for one with a three for one. So that seems good. And they have one card in hand. I'm not sure they can actually come back because the golden rule that we've been we have been emphasizing is that when you have cards like this and this in your deck. You're in good shape. Wait, we're playing Evolving Wilds? Yeah. Why? It's a good card, Michael. It's not. It is not. You don't think so? No. It's just a land. It gets, it gets It's a dual land. It gets us both kinds of colors of, ma- uh, colors of our mana. Yeah, but it's slow. But it is not. Only two colors. I like your... <laughs> I like your Tom Haverford voice there. Yeah, that was a Tom Haverford it's voice. It's only two colors. That's good. Lightning Helix to face. Ooh. A bold strategy, Cotton. <coughs> it's only two colors. <laughs> this is where they draw Stoke the Flames and they're like, God him. They didn't they didn't draw that. Or if the firecraft is uncountable and we die. Oh god, I'd cry. That's actually really scary. Now I'm afraid of that. Don't be afraid, little boy. <laughs> that's good. Yeah, that's pretty good, actually. Oh, they actually have one instant in their graveyard, so it actually wouldn't be uncounterable, so that's pretty sweet. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So we can actually do this. Choose target. No. No, 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 no. Overload. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is why we play blue decks. Going to six, and we got lots of blockers and counter spells. Man, remember when the first game against the red deck? Feels good. Remember when we were losing completely and then we actually just played one card and it was Sphinx's Revelation and then we we're like, oh, we're not losing anymore. Yeah. It's, this it's, might be one of my hard. favorite cards in Magic. I think it is. I think it has to be, right? It's just too good. Oh, come on. <laughs> so random. Uh, I kind of like Oust here. Maybe. No, I don't like it. It's sorcery. 
No, it's fine. It's an efficient removal spell. It's not. It is not. It's very efficient. Sphere of Heliod is more efficient than that. The sound is low on those? I don't understand. Oh god, I had desktop audio off again. Let me know if this let me know if it's better now. Oh hi Mark. That's gotta be better, right? I don't think we're boarding anything. I'd like to have this Soren, but Soren and Doodoo. -doo. <laughs> I'm just gonna say that. <laughs> Soren and Doodoo. -doo. <laughs> Could you guys hear the 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 stop stop? He's he's already dead. Can you guys hear that one? This is fine. I'll keep it. Oh, no. How about now? <laughs> We're just trying it right now. He's already dead. Is that good? Is that you guys, can you guys hear that one? All right, cool. Nailed it. So we take two. Play a land. We take two. Play a mage. All right. Hey, 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 hey. Smoke weed every day. <laughs> that was really random. Yeah, it was. Did I have a... I got to have a two drop, right? A three drop, right? No, that guy's going right back to the hand. Oh, you're so early. We do not need you yet. Oh, I, oh my God! Next turn, we get to blink flicker. We get to blink reflector mage. Woo! Uh, it, it actually weed is kid friendly now because it's kids legal. Kids love the weed. Oh, I see. I hear no. kids like to do the weed a lot. Do they? Is that the new dance? All the kids are doing it. Oh, declaration in stone. Well, that's awkward, isn't it? In it. Hey, 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 hey. Legal where? I'm in the... Oh, uh, Florida. Uh, California. Uh, Washington. That's not the Bible Belt. Neither, none of those are, correct, but... Uh-oh, here comes the old... Here comes the old big pig. Big, 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 big. A little throwback for you guys. I will throw block. back. I will block with this guy all day. Well, that's a land, I guess. See, that's an island. Be so much better. Would it be that much better? Yeah. Why? What would we have done? Gotten free money. Gotten free money. Hard to argue, guys. Hard to argue. What would we have done with the uh, the island? We would have gotten free money. Mm hmm. I I don't have a a leg to stand on. I can't. I cannot defend myself against the free money that we would have gotten from mold, the government. Mold drifty or that? I'm just gonna play this guy. Oh, that's not the one I wanted to take. I want to take the stupid Anafenza. Oh well, I'll deal with it. Anafenza. I mean, another land hitting quarantine field on both of the remaining permanences is pretty good. Plus, we again, we have Tidings and Sphinx's Reserve and Muldrift. For every card in our hand is at least a two for one. Just gotta not die. I'll be dying all day. Oof. This is aggressive. Land? Dang it. Kitchen Sphinx? It's pretty okay. Sure. I assume you have at least one, maybe two spells that you can use here. That's fine. That's a two for one. And we get to flash this guy back at some point. And we killed your Anafenza. Everything's everything is gravy. Let's hit a land drop. Nailed it. Four, five, six, seven, eight. So if they play two permanents, they get to they get to scoop. All right. Did you, does anybody know if it's Chicken Sunday today? 
every day is, is Chicken ch- Sunday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good times, good times. Well, I'm surprised we uh, we can't smoke the marijuana cigarettes in Missouri, but we can have open beers and concealed pistols at the same time in a car. So I think it's a win-win, huh? It's really funny when people say when you say things like that, and it's really like laid out for you like that. Um. It's, it paints a very clear picture of of America. Yeah, it's very interesting. America, America, coming again. That's a good movie. I actually enjoyed that movie a lot. Yeah, all right. America. Oh, wind breast kites. Hey man, you still got some liquid in that cup? Mm-hmm. I wouldn't. Have, I wouldn't have believed it. No one. See how many times you put your hand in there to grab your ice cubes. Well, ice melts. You know. Tell me more. That's really all there is to it. There's more to it. You're just being prude about it. Huh. I don't know if that's the right word. Stingy? I don't know what the word is. I don't know words. Don't you crack that. Where's my mana leak? Where's my mana tithe when I need it? Oh, I guess you get a quarantine filled or a st- Oh, they get stings. I've got two questions I want to ask for all. Can we see all of your tattoos? Do any of them mean anything? Did or do you play much D&D? Um, the first one, you can see all of them. They're just on my arms. I just only have, I'm just a weirdo with forearm tattoos. Do we just mold drifter here? Probably. Yeah, I feel like we do. How did I not? There's a blue right there. Oh, we evoked. I see. Oh, I see. <laughs> do we have any way to get this back? Because I'm going to cry. I hope they pat the exile with it on the stack. Oh, oh. That's a good combo. Um, so some of them mean things, yeah. I don't know if I want to get into it right now, but Ooh. Lucky lucky. I got cookie. Oh. 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 Give me a quest. I think we're just playing this and not caring about the the quarantine field here. These these creatures. And do it did or do I play much DNG? I've actually never played like a full campaign of DD before. Michael B. Thank you. I gotta say the pineapple blast was on point. Added hot fudge, pineapple blast with hot fudge. Interesting. That doesn't. I'm gonna be honest. That does not sound okay. Sarah, thank you so much. Welcome back. Can I have chicken Sunday? Even though it's not uh, every day, Sarah is chicken Sunday. So the answer to your question is a resounding yes. I mean, pineapple fudge. I'd t- I'd try it. Oh, we got the game store line with the random 31 cheers, like you do. All right, you can have that guy. What did you just say to me? I don't know. I don't know, Dad. Oh, let's bribery. But they got a ghost dad in there. Oh, but, that, but yeah, but if it exiles itself, they get it back. So, But they do have ghost dad. Told you. Also, Avacyn, uh, when it transform it, does it leave the battlefield when it transforms? I don't know. Bloodline Keeper also seems pretty good here. We could also just take Flicker Wisp and Flicker their their Zombone. A token. All right, how many? One, two, three lands. So they have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. 
Wait, that doesn't make any sense. They, they've they missed a land drop, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. Okay, so, so they're just running 16 lands, and they just don't have any lands in hand. So they have five gases. Five noble gases. All right. What do we take here? Sun Titan. Oh, I didn't see the Sun Titan there. Probably that. Yeah, that'll do. All right. Yep, that's pretty okay. I actually didn't see that. <laughs> Glad we kept looking, huh? Hey, boys. See, look, if we didn't have Evolving Wilds, we wouldn't be able to get Evolving Wilds back. Seems good. I'll give you that. No, oh, they're just going to Doom Blade it. Okay, you get to keep your guy. I, I accept your terms. Doom Blade, you say? I'm going to get another island here. Every day is Chicken Sunday. Chicken Sunday. Mike is a Chicken Sunday. Gonna play. Oh, wait. Can we just play Leshnorn here? <laughs> I think we'll play Elspeth first. Because if we draw another land, we can still keep up. Uh... Wait, why? Uh, because I, if they just kill a Leshnorn, I'd rather just let it, just leave me, just let me have it, okay? Just let me be. <laughs> okay. I don't need you. Okay. Because <laughs> if they hit land, they might have a four drop, and then we can get value out of this mana tithe. So. I guess they're going to win brisk kites. Win brisk. You put chocolate sauce and sprinkles on your chicken sundae, Mike? Obviously. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty good. So, create all the bros. Um, if we attack, Leshnorn still doesn't kill, so it's probably just better to have the Grand Cenobite. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Cenobite, here no bite. <laughs> yeah, the old Cenobite, here no bite. Get 500 bits for 99 cents with this one neat trick. Amazon Prime hates it. I don't think they're attacking here. That was a good. That was a no. good. That was a good guess on my part. I think. Oh, we just. Oh, we just win the game. <laughs> Elspeth, am I right? All right. That was good times. I had a good time. Did you have a good time? We had a good time. No. We're done. You say no? No. <sighs> can't how long was it, how long how long your flight was that's how i would judge whether to do the economy plus upgrade hmm. dang that crystal shard doing work in the sideboard you are not wrong You doing okay with her? Why is your hand always in your cup? It's so weird, man. I look over and his hand is like just in his cup. And I'm like, what are you doing? You're like a little kid who has like a sippy cup. And you just keep putting your hand in your cup. And I have to keep saying to you, Mike, that's not how we drink, buddy. That's not how we drink. Maybe it's not how you don't. You're right. That's not how I don't. That is correct. I don't know what to do with you. I tried to figure it out many years ago, but... Did they just F6 their... Oh, they went to 5 and... Huh. Alright, well, this draft is quick. 
Because I don't know what's happening. Oh, you're just going to Inquisition me? Sure. You get a Quarantine Field or a Perilous Mirror. And we have a Wrath of God and Elspeth. Are they just like hoping to hit lands at this point? That seems weird, right? Because they probably might not. <laughs> might these people drink through their fingers. <laughs> <laughs> oh, crying out loud. Mike can't really be human, can he? Well, this is the question we these are the questions we ask ourselves. Scatter to the winds. Like sands through the hourglass. These are the questions of our mics. Michael Icefinger's little chicken barbobbly boo. That is his name, yeah. Alright, well they ran out of lands, I guess. Should we just Wrath of God here for funsies just to No. Just to show them that just to send a message? No. What are you doing right now? They're gonna doom blade my perilous mirror? My Get chicken robot? Time. That's a weird move. Whatever happened to Lil P? Who's Lil P? I have no idea what's going on. In Lil P. Mm -hmm. Who's gonna play Elspeth next turn? They drew a land. Scatter to the winds. I don't think I even care about this we could just actually reflect our mage and keep up scatter because if they have deck in stone for elspeth they, she goes to one did we see deck in stone i don't think so yeah it's right here oh. <laughs> i don't think so oh there it is Oh, you know, Mike's son that was in jail last week. What was Mike's son that was in jail? What was his name? Lil B. No, it was like... What was it? I forgot his name. Lil, Lil Boofy. Lil, was it Lil Boofy? Yeah, it was Lil Boofy. It's <laughs> <laughs> amazing. Absolutely incredible. Hashtag free Lil Boofy. <laughs> Oh, God. How is this stream real? I mean, I'll risk you attacking Elspeth for one. A little boofy. <laughs> Oh my god, it's just the best, dude. Oh, I'm your angel. I'm real tempted to flicker wisp this reflector mage. So do it then. So why don't you do it then, Michael? Hey, a little boofy. I think we still get in there for three. If they want to block one. More power more power to you, sir. Knock yourself out, eh? Lil Boofy has 2,000 followers on Instagram? Wow. God, Lil Boofy killing it. Should we bounce the Blades Blesser? No. JK. JK. I think Flicker Wisp and oh Flicker Wisp is the tech. If they bribery you Flicker Wisp your own guy. That's gas. Well, you don't have to settle. Oh, you got Avison. Sure. actually good to have that gone because now do 
we do you? We did you, all right. Living weapon. This isn't a joke, by the way. He really has 2,000 followers. What? There's a little boofy on Instagram? Oh my god, there actually is a little... Wait, there's a little boogie. There's a little boofy on Twitter. Oh. Oh boy. Oh boy. It's uncomfortable. It's all... It's all bad. I'm okay, day. Maybe you lent a little boogie. Who and what is a little boofy? It's Mike's grandson. He's in jail. Remember, little boofy was in jail. Remember free little boofy? How do you guys not remember free little boofy? <laughs> <laughs> I don't get it. Just play ain't like okay. So you play this? Sure. Do you kill your own blade splicer? That's pretty good if you do. I'd be impressed with that tech. That's the good tech. And you get to kill my Elspeth now. It's all coming together for you. Oh. What? Oh, it doesn't deal damage. You can't redirect it now. Oh, that's... Oh, that's wonderful. Hmm. So we need to have a Miri Angel in hand. Yeah, we'll just play everything out. This is a heck of a comeback for them, and when they mold to five and um, uh, we couldn't have minus Elspeth because Elspeth was at three, so she would have died. And I'd rather not have Elspeth die. That's the entire point. If I get to choose having an Elspeth on board or a Wrath of God in hand, I will choose the Elspeth on board all the days of the week. This is a combo. You can play Batterskull and then bounce it and replay Batterskull and then bounce it. This is game two. We are up a game. Sure. This is a good draw. I will always hit a land if we have a land. Always yield to both of these guys. Hmm. Well. I don't think we're man-tiding anytime soon. No, definitely not. God, I want both these other cards, though. Do we want four cards or do we want their best card? Which is probably Sun Titan. Which gets back Reflector Mage, which bounces Thalia. We'll just take the bribery. Burp, <laughs> God, we discarded Tidings to get bribery. You're just hoping the Sun Titan's in your deck and not in your hand. They have two cards in hand that are not... Yep, that's all we need to see. So, we can kill Liliana, which we probably want to, or we can put them to one. Oh, you have a, oh, all right. Say those. Have a good night, buddy. I feel like we're in good shape. It's hard to say, though, you know? I can't really tell. Okay, I think we got it.
moldy conceded, so I think we are in good shape. That's good. That's a good sign. So we're four right now? Okay. Okay. Excuse me? Did I bestutter? You know, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what that means. It's fair. <clears throat> feel that it was quite some time that I posted some rhyme. We have all the gas and what we need. Please, God, don't ever let Mike plant his seed. Mike fist in the cup and we all say okay. Because Mike is Mike and what can we say? Magic-wise, we are living the dream. We have the control, it would seem. So let's enjoy this blue-eyed sweet deck and don't get goofy. And let's let, let's support the Mike Jr. Lil Boofy. <laughs> okay. Okay. Keep. Mike, what were you up to today? Don't make up a story. Just tell us about hanging out with your grandson. Um, hmm. Honest stream. Honest, honest answers only. I can't hang out with little Boofy because he's in jail. Yeah, but you can, you get, he gets visits. If you could see any concert from any group in history, who would it be? Wow. Um, Honestly, it wouldn't. I don't think it would be an exciting one right now. I would just say the National because the National is one of the few bands that I have I have loved, but I haven't seen yet. I've seen Jawbreaker, I've seen American Football, and those were on my like I guess you could say my bucket list of bands to have seen. I've seen the Decemberists, I've seen the Strokes. I think it would probably. I think the National is on my my short list of bands that I haven't seen yet. I uh, really want to. I would go see him. Well, that's good. Thank goodness. I'm sure. I'm sure. Uh, I'm sure they're all three. Wow, that was rude. Now who's the burn deck, buddy? This guy. Uh, how was American football? Amazing, and it was uh, two years ago ish, I think. Guns N' Roses in 1999, St. Louis, I want to be in a riot. I don't need y'all civil war. You know, it feeds the rich while it bears the poor. It's <laughs> a good line. Guns N' Roses were not actually short on good lines. They're actually very good. Lyric. Well, I'd hope so, considering how popular they are. Uh, there's a lot of popular artists that are not very good lyrically, so. I don't think that, there's, there's not, I don't feel like there's as big a correlation there as you might think. <sighs> correlation. Coral. <laughs> oh, boy. What do we play here? Just give up Dissolve? Sure. I don't care about your stupid Psalm Simulacrum. We got there, a little, little tissue? Yeah, I'm sending it to a little boofy. <laughs> so he can wipe his prison tears? Yeah. Katy Perry gave me a water bottle and a console once. Wow, that's a gas. That's amazing. I hope you. Oh, also Taylor Swift will be on my list. So. He's doing it again. He's literally got his hand inside of his. I can't even express to you guys how weird it looks. What are you? Just tell me what you're doing. Nothing. What were you doing? Were you like? <laughs> I was trying to crush some of the ice, so I'd... crush it. See now it's all attached, so I can't really chew a piece. Can't you put it on your mouth and then bite down to bite the piece off? No, not it's too big a chunk. I tried that. I think you're too big a chunk. <laughs> oh dear God, man. Wait, what? Stop. Just pay the stupid mana. Come on. Play the El Fincarinos. Oh, how about the strangest group you ever ended up seeing live? Oh. None of the bands I've seen have been super weird live. I would say, if anything, it would probably be like an opening band that I've seen that I was like, that I wasn't actually... Um, like, that, that I wasn't deliberately going to see, right? And they just sure they played. I'm sure there's something that's been weird. Oh, it's Thunderbreak Reggie. Thunderbreak Reggiano Parmigiano. 
Delicious. Delicious. Look at that that beautiful chicken. Look at all those chickens. Boop, boop. I'll take three. I don't need your civil war. Wow, two live curbing the opening band for ICP sounds utterly ridiculous. I'd go to that. I probably would too, actually. I'd stay in the back, and I'd keep to myself, but I'd go to that. Try to stay away from Juggalos? Yeah. Not not because of any any sort of, like, discrimination or, or bigotry, but just because uh, I'd like to observe them first in their, in their natural environment to see how... For science. Yeah, for science, scientific purposes, correct. Now, this Chandra is problematic, but... Ideally, we'll draw something good, like an Elspeth or a Sphinx's Revelation, right off the top of my deck. That's also pretty solid. That's actually incredible, because now we just get to kill this. <laughs> oh, boy. I got covered in Fago. I feel like Alessia Norn's pretty hard to deal with for the red deck. I mean, if they zealous conscript, it's only nine back. I don't need your civil war. Guess if I had to pick one band to see that isn't around anymore. It would be his dad. No, I was going to say the Smiths. Oh, because he's not around day. anymore. Oh, okay. Um... I, I would love to see the Smiths, but, like, I worry about Morrissey being kind of an asshole. No, he is, totally. <laughs> right? But, like, I don't know if that's worth it to me. Like, I'd have to get to a point where, like, the person's art transcends their, their personality, I think. For me, it does. It might. I, I mean, I love the Smiths. I love, I love Morrissey, so. I think the Smith is slightly better than Solo Adventures, so. That's a good, that's a good, that's a good Smith song. I think we're fine. I think our deck's actually good. We have, I don't think we've lost a... I saw explosions in the sky randomly in the early 2000s. I say saw because I couldn't see anything. The concert took place in an unlit room above a warehouse. Everyone was tripping and laying on the floor. <laughs> wow. Well, that's weird. Is explosions in the sky completely instrumental? I don't know anything about that band. Because there's another band, uh, an old emo band called The Cancer Conspiracy, I believe. And I listened to them and I was like, this is, it's completely instrumental. And I was like, these guys are great. I'm like, I saw the funny joke video finally. Thanks. So thank you for that. <laughs> that is a good one. That is a solid one. The shadows. What's going on, buddy? Oh, that was a good draw. The only concert I've been to is Marilyn Manson and Alice Cooper at Red Rocks in Denver. That sounds amazing. Yeah, it sounds like a pretty good time. Wow. Isn't Red Rocks like an insanely large venue, right? It's also like gorgeous and the acoustics are supposed to be phenomenal. First result. Oh, I was hoping it was Red Rocks. Like Spell Show. Oh, yeah. I mean, I'm sure that's there. But it's like this. Yeah, look at that. That's amazing. Isn't it, it's like carved into like the mountain. Look at that view, dude. Yeah, it seems pretty nuts so. though. Yeah, that's pretty sweet. I would be. I'll take this. Whatever. Whatever you're dishing out, I'll take it. Oh, dang it. I just want to play Kitchen Finkos. 
but it's not it's not good against either of your two your your two your two bros. It's not good against your pig bro or your your cat bro. Is this a cat? I don't actually know. I think it's just a human. Okay, well, whatever. Hanging out here, feeling the loves, trying to relax. All right, well, that's good. I'm glad. You could you you deserve to relax, buddy. Going to see a show at Red Rock this weekend? Ooh. Who's at Red Rock this weekend? B. Armor name. Okay, that's actually just fine. That is not a thing I care about. And. Littering. And. I think we actually. I'll actually block here because if you give him first strike, then I just gain two life, which is fine. And you can't level this guy up yet. And I just get a guy back, so that's totally fine. I gotta go to sleep, but the result will be on YouTube at some point. Rest assured that yes is only yes, yes it will. This will be on YouTube. You guys are watching it on YouTube right now, actually. Isn't that next level? Hmm. Let me just keep scatter up, and then next turn we can bribery for the uh, Inferno Titan that they no doubt have, or we can batter skull, which also seems pretty good. I don't know what you did there. Just a little teenage. I once saw Mama in the Kitchen with Onions. Boy, was that a weird show. Yeah, that I would, uh... I've seen Mama in the Kitchen with Onions live once, and... They were pretty strange. I don't know if I'd go see them again. Oh. Who's that crazy guy that you should throw a poop at the audience? Oh, that was my dad. <laughs> <laughs> Boy, he, 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 was a, he was a weirdo back in the day. Wow. Was it Ozzy Osbourne? That sounds like an Ozzy no, Osbourne no, thing. No, no, no. A little more recent. No, you don't get this guy. Uh, more recent than Ozzy. Just give me the... Oh, just give me an Inferno Titan one time. Just have it in your deck. That works we get a Thunderbreak Regent, so that's fine, too. It doesn't look like it. Oh. oh my god. Is this the moment? You gotta try for it. From this moment, a tally's been cast. From this moment. What, what, what's the irony that I've drafted this guy a million times and the one time I'm gonna get to actually trigger him is when it's not in my deck oh my god oh my god that's amazing but of course undoubtedly he's gonna hit a sphinx's relation off the top of our deck and we are not gonna be able to uh cast it reliably so okay so that guy's just getting real big well seeing queen would be pretty sweet No escape from reality. Open Mike's eyes. We do have to find an answer to this guy, but we have compulsive research, so I'm not too concerned. We also have Batter Skull. To... But we do go to 15, and then if they want to spend another 4 next turn on that guy, he's, it's 8 mana. Or 4 mana. And that's our turn, basically, so. Reflector Mage. Mana Tithe, okay. All right, here we go. Looks like we made it. Oh, Flicker Wisp is good. Nykthos. We can't play. We can only like, cast it, right? All right, that's fine. What are we blinking here, I wonder? Card and drinks. I like Dragon Lord, so if they have to spend another four on it, if they want to. Yeah, that seems better. Because now it's just a 2-2 two -two again. Could have also blunked the Boros Reckoner so they can't block here. But if they just want to trade one for one, it's actually a two for one, so. You have to kill this guy, right? He's just going to the face? Bold move. What? Let's play Batter Skull. Oh, we're definitely playing Batter Skull, and we're keeping up Mana Tithe. Wow, that was. Oh, it was six damage. That's why. It wasn't three. Okay. That makes more sense. Mm 
Yeah, so they can pump this guy to four and put us to five, but we have we just play batter skulls, so. Still pretty bold. Like I I don't know, man, having this guy on board. Oh, oh, oh we're gonna Oh my god. They did have the Inferno Titan. It was in hand. We get to mana tithe it, and we get to attack them with the Ritali. Could this game be any more perfect? We've reached peak perfection. And we win the match. 6-0. Wow. Not bad. Wow. Wow. I wanted them to have Inferno Titan. They had it. It was in their hand. We mana tithed it. How many times have we just wrecked our opponent when they had when they had Inferno Titan? We either, they either play their Inferno Titan and we steal his Zealous Conscripts, or they play their Inferno Titan and we mana tithe it. That's pretty great. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. Really appreciate it. If you're watching on YouTube, slam those like and subscribe buttons. Feel free to check out my Patreon page. It is The link is down below. It's patreon.com slash franklapore. And uh, thank you guys so much for the support. Really appreciate it. I'll see you next time.